How bad would that suck if I was opening this and I spilled it all on my computer because I lost my grip? Ah, that would have been fucking terrible. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the video. My name is Ernest Adiano. If y'all are new here, this is a reaction channel slash vlogs. Haven't made a vlog in a while. Life's been pretty boring. So I'm saving y'all by not showing my boring ass life. But right now we're reacting and I just got a comment yesterday, I believe, saying that I should react to a Dax Rap God Freestyle. Here we are. First reaction. All right, let's go. Dax Rap God Freestyle One Take Video. I think it's called a long take, if I'm not mistaken. Boom, long take. In filmmaking, a long take is a shot that lasts much longer than conventional editing pace. All right, all right, let's see what we got. Hold up, you're setting the bar pretty high. When you're telling Eminem, text me when you see this, like, hey, you're gonna be so baffled, you're gonna be so struck by this lyricism, by these lyrics, by this delivery, by this swagger, you're gonna wanna text me to sign me on the spot when you see this. I I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's pretty good marketing. Whoever thought of that? It would have been hilarious if that was Mike Jones' number right there. And then the next one just said, just kidding, here's the real number. This ain't a time for hilarity. This is a time for serious shit. He's got a lot riding on the line when you start with this in the first frame. All right, so first off, it's not the rap god beat. I thought it was gonna be. It's almost better that it's not. You're automatically gonna lose points for trying to go harder than Eminem on his own beat. So the fact that you made your own song called Rap God, put it on your own beat, and I assume we're about to go in with this whole Tupac looking vibe right here. I'm sick of the bullshit. I should be on top, but I'm riding the back. Niggas are blowing for less. I've been killing these beats and they don't wanna show me respect. People have been blowing for less. That's true. People have been blowing up for shit. Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. Eight times saying the same thing, people been blowing for less. I came here to kill, so I'm aiming these bars at their net. Okay. I'm God to these, I took them to church because they gonna have to repent. That's kind of, these, these bars are fire. Yes, niggas gonna have to repent. Ask any rap about Dax and I promise that nigga gonna say they don't know me. I meet him in person, they say they're the homie, then I get the word that the nigga are funny. Have to Ask anybody about Dax, they gonna say that they don't know me, but then I meet him in person and they and they say that they the homie, and then I find out that they phony. Yes, Dax. I feel you on that, bro. That's why you gotta keep the hand sanitizer around shaking these haters' hands. Word to Kid Cuddy. Half of these rappers was made with Adobe. They Photoshop. That's clean. Cutting up these rappers like a barber, cause I got the edge, like an edge up, like a straight edge, and I fade them like this right here. Like this little low fade action I got going on that's pretty clean if I if I do say so myself. And I fade them like Kobe. The bars are fire, the delivery is nice. I like the aggressive delivery, especially for what we're talking about. He's, he's hungry, the delivery is very aggressive and in your face. So far, this is worthy. This is worthy of my tiempo. That's time for those that don't speak Spanish. Like myself, that's one of five words I know. All black be the fit because I'm finna murder niggas here today. I was a janitor. All black be the fit because I'm here to murder these today. Johnny Cash, why, why are you wearing all black? Are you going to a funeral? Maybe I am. I was a janitor back in December, then I took my shit and I moved to LA. Mm. Broke, I was cleaning the floors, it was overnight shifts every day. Now okay. I rap on an instrumental, you can guarantee my ass getting paid. Woo! My bad for not moving my cursor, I just realized it's dead center. But I was a janitor back in December. What are we in? We are in November. This video, I'm making this video November 16th. I think this song came out November 12th. He was a janitor in December. Now you can guarantee when he raps on a beat, he's getting paid. This boy's going in. I know you can guarantee my ass getting paid. Yeah. Him and them come find me. Mm. Dr. Dre come sign me. Uh. Props to my nigga Travis Scott because he put a baby up in Kylie. Hey. Him and them come find me. You already know where to call him at. Dr. Dre come sign me. Props to Travis Scott. 
He put a baby up in Kyrie. Kyrie? What the fuck? Put a baby up in Kylie. Travis Scott wouldn't even went after that if it wasn't for the plastic surgery. It's gonna be like that Chinese dude who sued his wife because she had plastic surgery and the baby came out ugly in his eyes. Not saying that Travis Scott's gonna do that or that that's the situation with Kylie. She got dough though. Hey Kanye, you won't get away if you try to mention all my wifey. Ugh. You thought this was a joke? Peep the drip, nigga need a coat. Peep the drip, you need a coat. As in his drip is so wet, it's like it's raining, you need a raincoat. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh. Now they treat me like the Pope. Been rapping only a year, now they treat me like the goat. Back up, back up. What you wanna do now? Breathe in, breathe out, hands up and hands down. Just kidding. This song is beast, I'll give them that, yes. But I don't know if you can call yourself the GOAT, but I'm here to tell you, as of right now, you're not the GOAT. The artist of the song that you named this song after, Eminem, arguably greatest rapper of all time. My personal opinion, he more than likely is. But can you sustain this for as long as Drake has, for as long as J. Cole has? Can you do it more so than just by naming the song Rap Guide and getting all the views off of that. This is gonna get you a hell of a lot of followers. Now what are you gonna do with those followers? What are you gonna do with those fans? You gonna let them down? Is this gonna be a one hit wonder? You got a lot to live up to calling yourself the GOAT and calling this song Rap God. Ooh! Wave making people drown, now I got hopping on the boat. I know he didn't mean this, but I broke down wave files by Lupe Fiasco. They were jumping off of the boat and the waves were saving them as they jumped off of the boat. This is the opposite. He's the boat that is keeping these people alive because the waves are making them drown. They they got onto the boat. They got, they're, they're catching on to what he's doing. I know for a fact he didn't mean that to be a reference to wave files by Lupe, but in my mind, that's just where I'm at. I ain't about that gold digging fucking shit. I need me a Jada Pinkett Smith. Don't we all? And the problem is that this song and the clout and the fame that he's gonna gather is gonna keep the Jada Pinkett Smiths from showing up. It's gonna be all the gold diggers. It's gonna be all the thoughts that are gonna be wanting to be on, on the cot. Nah, keep your mind up, King. Keep your mind up. He said, I'm hard and I need a Chris, as in Chris Paul. I'm shooting, give me the assist. Okay, okay. Real freestyle shit, you thought wrong. I'm just blessed. This hit chest two moves up. I'm what's on that, what's next? Hey, hey, hey. He said, This, this is. This is chess. I'm two moves up. I'm what's here and what's next. You hear that, Cheddar? Shit was wild, son. That shit was wild, son. Get out of here. We're gonna have to rewind that hoe. Rewind like Salinas. Okay. This here chess two moves up. I'm um, what's on and what's next. If you don't know the mentality of chess players, chess is war in board game format. You gotta sacrifice, you gotta think ahead. And it's common that chess players and people who are teaching chess say, don't think about the move you're doing, think about that move, your opponent's move to that move, and the move that you're gonna do after that. That's two moves up. He's saying, I'm um, what's here, first move, and what's next. That's the most fire line of the song so far. And there's been bars already. I'm what's on that, what's next? Fake rap, I can't connect, no Wi-Fi, that's collect 25. Fake rap, I can't connect, no Wi-Fi, that's collect. That's collect 25 for a call, that's why they make no sense. Yeah. <laughs> that's collect, like call collect 25 for a call, that's why they don't make no sense. That's a bar. They make no sense. Yeah. Uh, I was in the back row chilling. Now I'm in the front row chilling. Now mm. I used to walk to the studio and now I got a car, so I'm riding in the rifle with it. And he ain't go kill him. I be on my King Kong shit, go with him. 21 plus for bitch. I be on my King Kong shit, go rilla. So I went to Rolling Loud, made a couple K and fucked a bad bitch from my fan base. Okay. I double back, made a ass clap and fucked another girl off a fan page. Oh. On a
He smashed one of his fans off of his fan base, doubled back, smashed again, then smashed another one from the fan page. But 21 plus, because we ain't out here trying to be pedophiles and shit. Why he got the little Uzi haircut? Why he dragging the chain in the music video? Why he got the LT lightning bolt like he's in Waterboy and LT was giving the speech to the kids? That brings me to another point. Don't smoke crack. What are these people thinking driving by? And they're driving by, they're like, what is this dude doing dragging this, dragging this chain around? Got this camera following him. He's looking back at it. Sounded kind of gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But hey, Dax got some bars. He put a title out there that was gonna garner a lot of attention by calling it Rap God. And then you call the Rap God out at the very beginning saying, call me after you hear this because you're gonna wanna sign. And then you call it a freestyle. Now I seriously doubt that this song was straight freestyled off of the top of the dome. And you can tell when someone's off the top because it, they, the lyrics don't make sense. There's no way you're coming up with punch lines like that right off the top of the dome nonstop. But freestyle could also just be freestyling, writing down with no, with no purpose toward a song other than going in. But either way, song went in, that was lit. Dax has to do a follow up and say that it's not just a one hit wonder. It's kind of like when a freshman puts out a dope album and then the sophomore album is really more important than the freshman album, the sophomore song is gonna have to be more important because a lot of people fall on that second song, just like a lot of people fall on that second album. We'll see. But as of right now, take your markers, take your Copic markers, your Sharpies, and color me impressed. But anyway, hope y'all guys like this video. Appreciate y'all stopping by and watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share with your friends catching most of the bars. I wanna say I caught almost all the bars. I might've missed one, but hey, it is what it is. Y'all have a good Thanksgiving. If y'all are celebrating Thanksgiving, peace as always. Later.